Hello and welcome to Summit. My name is Elliot. I'm going to walk you through the Athena installation process and explain to you how the software works. When you purchase any device from Summit, uh, from now on, you should receive a cable. In this case, the mantle will require a cable right here that's plugged in with RS-232. You will receive a cable for the fraction finder, which is an adapter cable. It's a comm cable to USB. And you will receive a cable with your Apollo. The Gen 1 Apollos from a long time ago aren't compatible with this software, but the Gen 2s are, so anything that's new coming out of our shop, we'll be able to talk with it. If you have a Gen 1, just call us and talk with us and we'll get you uh, on an update for that system. The Fraction Finder will require its own update to open up communication between the software. It's locked out uh, on its own normally. So what we're going to do is we're going to keep the USB devices unplugged from here, and now I'm going to uh, show you how to install the software. Okay, so now that we're on the computer, we're going to click on the Athena software insta installer. You're going to click yes. And now we walk through the install. It's going to uh, unload all the data and unzip it into a usable file. And now we have to install the three drivers that are required to operate between the devices for communication. It's going to continue on here. And the process is complete. Next one. Complete. X out of that box. And the last one's going to line up here. And we are installed. So now it's going to ask us to reboot. So I'm going to reboot here. All right, now that we've rebooted, what we're going to do is we're going to search for our drivers to make sure that the devices are all connected. So go in your device manager. You're not going to see any comms pop up here. So first things first is we start plugging in devices. I'm going to plug in the Fraction Finder first, and we're going to see if it pops up. And right here is the first one that popped up. That is installed and operational. I'm going to plug in the Apollo now. And there we go. The second one has popped up with no exclamation points. And now we're going to plug in the mantle. And we have a exclamation point here. Oh, there we go. So it's connected. So now that everything looks real clean here, we're going to boot up the software. And now we enter into Athena. So on your first boot up, you're actually going to be asked for a serial. Uh, this is a master copy, so there's no serial here. Everything is dedicated towards the customer, so we're going to give you a personalized serial. We're going to wait a moment for everything here to start to boot up and to see what's going on. All right. So from reverse order forward, we're going to talk about the features. This is going to be your traceability chart. Uh, any of your runs that you've ran against or programmed towards, you're going to be able to load them up on the left side here and see all the different ones that's in your database, and then you can shoot them back over to this side. And anywhere on this movie reel for the fraction finder, you'll be able to dial in your fraction and see exactly where it happened here. Uh, full traceability, so when you save this and print it or, or do whatever you'd like to do with the, with the data and the software, you can highlight sections and have a start to finish. Right here, we have the actual, um, the recipe portion of the software. You're going to have your pressure and your temperature. As a demo, I'm going to load up my demo. And pretty much I start and add or delete different sections here. As you can see, I have a chase going on and you could do it by pressure or by uh, temperature. So here's just a very simple sample of how I have created this one run. It's all, it's all flat timing. It's not actually, uh, it's just to give you guys a related graph. 
So we have the, the mantle uh, jacket and the mantle base where the liquid uh, set point is basically going to creep up here. And as it goes up, let's just say I had a hold with a slight draw up, spike the temperature, and then I want to let it hold and drop down. And then it continues up. And let's say we're getting through our main body. We have to increase the temperature a little bit. So now we're back up to temperature. And I'm going to do a change for my tails, push the tails out, and then I can do a step down in the process, start to remove temperature before I open anything up. There's an example. We also have the dashboard where everything's running. So uh, you see the liquid here, the jacket, the vapor. You, you can set these in different names. Uh, one of these is actually the mantle base. I think that's the lower one right here. Uh, right here, we can set different UV ranges for different things that we want to do. Um, I have the setup not running right now, so we're going to have a little bit of a jump here on the, on the pressure. As you can see, it's bouncing around because it's at room pressure and it's not really a big deal right now. It's not going to really read much. It's pretty much reading a zero zero right here. Uh, there it goes our bouncing around as it warms up. Um, so let's talk about the features here. Uh, you can control the Apollo with different features on this side, pump, sweep, etc. Here's going to be a live temperature reading of everything that's happening in the system. And your pressure, uh, in this case, we just have one setup, but you can have the first one labeled as your short path. The second one can be labeled as a pump. This one is automatically standardized, so you can use it for either normal ranges or UHVP. We set them up and send them out as UHVP. So if you have a diffusion pump, that'll be your third pressure range. What's also really interesting is you can run both of these deadheaded on your pumps, and you can watch the actual pump curve live on the screen here, as well as the Apollo to determine if you have any pump problems. So now we have this cool feature up here. Here's the real-time movie reel. Uh, right now, we just have some vape pen juice on this. Uh, so you can click in any section, and it'll tell you what happened and when it happened, pretty much anywhere we want to go. And that's the key point of the feature for the fraction finder is I can take, say, my heads and I can select a very particular um, UV section. And then I can have, say, my main body where I, would it, it, uh, where I would expect it to hit. And I create my own UV section right here. And then I can create a setting here for my tails. For instance, in this case, it's chlorophyll. But the point being is the graph will actually change. It'll pop up on the heads and then it'll be pretty much lower on the body and the tails. And when the heads go down, your graph will reduce itself and the main body will go up and the tails will still be there. And so when you switch out from your main body to your tails, you'll see one graph side go up or alter while the other one will also go up or go down. It's very dependent on what your settings here are. And the way that it's set up is to be a movie reel. So throughout the process, let's say I wanted to look in the beginning, I can start right here and say, oh, okay, this is what my graph looked like right here. And then as I start flowing through, oh, I have a significant change from here to here. And then I'm going to say, okay, that's where the stop actually occurred. I can click on that, see where it's going and take notes for further traceability and or know uh, if you wanted to alter your recipe in the future, how to alter it. So we also have some features here. I can, I can uh, record and save my runs, just like that. And say Bob. So let's go back here. Oh, look, Bob's run right there, just like that. As easy as can be. Oh, nothing happened here, so it's not going to log for us. OK, so now that we're back out in here, uh, let me get to my thing. So this is a little zero thing is because we didn't actually have a run going on. So the information that was logged is too short. So that's the uh, Athena software. If you have any questions, please give us a call. We're more than happy to walk you through it. So you're able to uh, move, load, save your recipes and get through your processes without any issues. Uh, there you go.